All right, can someone? The czar, the biggest. Like, mom. do you guys even know what just happened? That game was fucking. Cue it up. If anyone knows what just happened, clip it. Okay, this is it. Oh! Okay, that's actually. Right here. I'm stunned. Shrink it, the end of the stun. Blink. Spell steal. And kick him. Before the cast goes off. I'll play it real time. Shrink it, blink, spell steal. Oh! That, I don't know if, I don't know, I, I don't know if that's ever been done before. Like. It appears that a PTR tuning hotfix for Stormwall blockade encounter didn't make the live service. We'll be applying that hotfix. We're also reducing health and damage to several portions of the encounter shortly. Impossible! Let's go. I lured you into open waters because out here. You have no hope Get into the phase escape. as fast as you can. Watch out for the uh, uh, the freezy things. Don't get hit by a freezy thing. It's Nobody. Time we finish this. Fuck. Truly, what a sight to see. City. Yo, I just bought it. Don't buy pieces. Don't buy pieces. Why? I just bought a 400. It gave me a 370. <laughs> what? Can you refund it? Hey. I can't refund it. Do not buy it. It's, it's probably bugged. Oh my god. Fuck! Fuck Nobody had enough Titan Residual for them to get exposed. I'm scrolling all the way down. We're going all the way. We're going through A. There's like 20,000 people. I've got to scroll all the way down. There's no way, dude. It's going to take like an hour. Uh, are they really in there? It's in VIP. All right, boys, listen. Listen, guys. You did good this time. Uh, this is a good Q&A. Really fucking appreciate it. Uh, this is good. The PvP vendor shit. Like, we really Please want buff the- Please buff Red. Please buff Red. Red needs a fucking buff so fucking bad. Please. Ian, you're the fucking best lead designer we've ever had in our fucking team, dude. Please, dear God, I will- I will literally- Dude, I will- I will stream every fucking day for the next five years if you fucking buff Red. I swear to God, if you let me get glad this season, I swear to God, I'll fucking- I'll do anything, dude. Please fucking buff Red. Okay, dude, there it is. All right, listen, guys, like, just, just please, please, like, just start listening to us. Like, we really, we really want to make this game better. Like, I love playing other games, don't get me wrong. But what I love playing more than other games is WoW. Like, I love this fucking game, I love this game for 10 years, right? But please stop doing this, like, weird stuff. Like, you can't make everybody happy. Like, I, I get that there's, like, 50,000 micro-interest groups in the game, but... Man, like, sometimes it feels like you guys should just focus on making a good experience rather than trying to make the micro-groups happy. It just feels like it's kind of like whack-a-mole, where you push one down and like four other come up and it's like, fuck, you know? You can just never get anything done. Dev tweeted. Wait, what? Did they? Well, let me see what they said. They tweeted at you, dude! No, they didn't. They fucking tweeted at you! No fucking way, dude. No yes, fucking dude. way, dude. They fucking tweeted at you! No fucking way. Yes! Let me scroll down. Um... I don't see it. Yeah, I know. I was lying to you. Let me see if you do. Just a second. Let me uh, let me let me close this real quick, and uh, I'll check. What? Oh, wow! Glad to hear. Fuck yeah! Okay, awesome. There we go. Great. I'm happy. Uh, glad to hear. Yeah, this is amazing. All right. So at least they've heard me. Uh, please add a PvP vendor. Like we want to have a dialogue. Like uh, it's the thing is like obviously, you know that it might seem sometimes like it's like we hate blizzard we don't hate blizzard like if we hated blizzard we wouldn't spend all day complaining about it right i mean we'd probably just move on uh we just it's like Dude, a what th this is the closest you've been to warcraft actually talking to you forever like ever. for a long time yeah this is it like they're maybe they're finally coming around and, and yeah guys like i i, I i'm i'm glad
like welcome welcome this is great like we, we do content for the game all the time and I, I i play this game all the fucking time like i i like streaming other games but i really want to stream wow and it's just like i i, I wish that there, there's just so much i want to say with like all the changes and everything i think people just really more than anything want they want a progression path that's meaningful and that that's really what matters more than anything and the social interactions is what really makes a difference it's like ian and uh and laura talk about like good memories from burning crusade man there were tons of content droughts back then like lore man like you played like, i don't know if you're watching man you played you, you played burning crusade black temple you farmed it for a year for glaives I, I don't even think that you played a rogue maybe you did but either way like most of those glaives probably weren't going to be for you but you did it because you're friends and you did that for a year would people do the same thing for old deer nowadays i don't think so that's what i really want to see come back man that social interaction i would i i I'll tell you guys a story right now is that i used to this is a long time ago uh, i used to go to bed and then i would i'd leave i'd stay in ventrilo and i would wake up and before i went to my computer I would hear my guildies talking in Ventrilo, and it just made me so happy because I knew that I would just come into another day of spending that time with my friends playing the game that I love. And that's something that I'll never forget. And I fucking loved it, man. Now behind Alliance getting the opportunity for I level 400 gear this week and likely every week for engaging in world PvP. So a couple things. Um, first off, it we actually genuinely don't think this is going to be every week. I think we've we've seen a lot of increasing participation from the Alliance and narrowing the gap in participation in war mode since um, Tides of Vengeance launched. And the quest is only going to be offered when there is a significant disparity. So the goal is for this to eventually stop being offered. Um, that said, a couple of pieces. Um, so on, so why, is this, why does this exist in the first place? Well, we added the increased bonus rewards for Alliance or for the outnumbered faction going up to 30% to get more of the outnumbered faction to opt into war mode. But we also realized that to some extent we needed to get Horde, some players, to consider turning off war mode. Now, that sounds maybe jarring up front, but what we saw in terms of our data was right when Battle for Azeroth launched, the ratio between Alliance and Horde was actually pretty close to even. It wasn't dead even, but it was actually close and competitive. Um, there were some challenges with the way our shard matchmaking was working that led to Horde outnumbering Alliance in a lot of situations early on. But by the time we fixed those, we'd seen two trends emerging. Alliance, who felt outnumbered, were turning off war mode increasingly. But more and more Horde were turning it on. Because they didn't, now these weren't people who opted into war mode on day one, but once word got out that, hey, there's just a free 10% rewards waiting right. for you, just turn this on. You had tons of folks who really weren't interested in world PvP at all, and actually maybe very averse to world PvP, who were just in the habit of having war mode on because, well, why not? It's 10% free rewards. By incentivizing Alliance not just to go do their world quests in war mode, but, but to actually hunt the more numerous faction, that actually helps get the balance to a better place on both sides. The goal here is to create a mode that offers fun and engaging world PvP for those who are interested in it, while compensating folks for the inefficiency that comes right. with getting into world PvP while you're trying to get your world quests done or go to a dungeon or whatnot. Yeah, like the, the point of the increased rewards isn't just for having tech check, check the box in an interface thing. It's because yeah. you're going to have the inefficiencies from having world PvP involved when we have an environment where there's no world PvP, but you're getting the increased rewards anyway. That's kind of it, a problem. Exactly. Um, now, we do think that I level 400 may actually be a bit too high. So when we first introduced this quest in Tides of Vengeance, it gave heroic raid quality gear, which at the time was I level 370 heroic Uldir level gear. That made sense three months into Uldir, when there was a certain level of overall gear in the player base as a whole at max level, and that really was what was required for it to be exciting as an incentive at all. Uh, now, that's very different, I think, at the start of a new raid tier. And when right. most people haven't set foot in Heroic Battle of Dazar lore yet, let alone really killed more than a the first few bosses, getting an I-level 400 piece just from this quest pro is probably over-rewarding and actually risks undermining other core activities, not just raiding, but also Mythic Plus, also raided PvP. So, obviously, we're not going to change anything out from under players this week, but what we're thinking is that next week, if a faction is outnumbered significantly, 
this quest will give a 385 piece, but we're probably going to add something else to the pot, like some conquest points to incentivize you know, the core PvP gameplay there to get it to a place where it still hopefully feels rewarding, but isn't overwhelming rewards from other sources. Okay. Um, we actually have a similar question about Wormo. I'm just...